What's up, folks? Carolina Cat Daddy. We got Carolina Grandpappy here. All uh, right, you seen earlier, we, we fished Wiley all day. And me and Matt was talking about, dang, uh, coming down here to the Congaree. And it got about 11 o'clock. We was getting, you know, talking about leaving. And uh, we decided to come on down here and get it in. Tell y'all what, there's a spot here. It's one of my favorite spots to fish as a kid. There was someone sitting there. And uh, so we come on down a little bit. Scan finally marked the first set of fish. And I'm sorry I didn't turn the camera on. I, uh, I threw this one, the live ram over here in the structure pile. Oh, yeah. So we didn't even get to, uh, threw a, a live ram over there. I was up here actually peeing off the boat and I thought I seen the rod go down. He ran me in some structure real quick. He's not a monster. He's pushing 20 pounds. First fish, we ain't been angry up five minutes. I think this is a pretty good sign here. Should have a good trip. First fish, y'all. Five minutes. Using these uh, frozen jumbos. I had a lot of people give me some uh, some lip about these things. I don't think they really listen to me. I don't use frozen bait at all, whatsoever. This is the only frozen bait I'll use. I'm gonna throw up a link right now to when uh, I got a video on how to, to, to uh, properly store these. I'm about to show you these things. You thaw them out on their own, let them thaw out. And these things bleed dang near as good as as they were um, fresh. Not gonna be 100%, but I say about 90. And these, these are the truth. I'm about to show y'all how, how well these work. Hopefully, hopefully we get the fish to cooperate. Like I said, we got two big ones back there. We're gonna get set up on them and see if we can't get them. Now the way I do these is I cut the head off. I fillet one side. I'm gonna fillet down this thing like so. Look at that. Like I said, this is the only bait I'll use frozen. I'm kind of going fast. I'm really excited, y'all. Dang, I messed it up. Usually I can fillet down this thing pretty good. But we fillet down that side. And y'all, you can get a lot of pieces of bait out of that. head is a uh, very uh, big, but we'll still use it. Get down to here, and you're gonna fillet these up. And I used to not be a believer in fillets, y'all. I, I, I catch good fish on fillets. And you can even cut this one more time. For right now, we're probably not gonna do that. We're just gonna uh, get us some good chunks there. And then we're gonna come on this side. And we're gonna chunk up. It's, no, it's good that the screen goes black. So it goes to sleep. So we just, uh, that's how we do this thing. And I'm telling y'all what, Jesse O'Neill used some of these, uh, uh, two weeks ago. We won a tournament at Santee. Um, yeah, let's see if we can. Uh, hey, y'all, boy, this is peeling drag now. This one was peeling drag. If you want to, uh, uh, trim the motor up. Yeah, this is, this is a pretty good fish. He's been coming in the whole time. All right, Matt, watch your, uh, no, watch that rod. I like to get a hit. This one? No, the one beside it. You ain't gotta do that. Look, watch that rod, it's getting a hit. Sure. They gonna pop the surface like a blue. Man, he kind of gave up on me for a second. We got one on the line. Not much I can do. Now we're shooting for a PB today. 
Not 51. It's gonna, it's gonna get, he's gonna regain his energy, I believe. He's gave up on us right now. Got him? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, we're going for a PB today, buddy. Hold on, let's chill for a minute. You alright? You want to yeah. get him up? You good? <laughs> Might have put him in live well let him recover. You see how we did it, how we worked it? Yeah, yeah. Hell man, no, I, I would have felt horrible if I'd have caught that man, fish. That might be pushing 70, man. I inched my way up from uh, 40s for a long time. Finally got over 50. This this fish, I don't really know y'all. I'd say, uh, gosh almighty. It wasn't hooked real hard either, was it? No, it was not. Yo, I'm gonna be a man about this and grab this one by the, by the jaws here. That right there. <laughs> Alright, y'all, this is, uh, we ain't got no weight on this thing yet. This is this is a blessing from God here. This is uh, I've been fishing my whole life, something like this, like really, my whole life. Good job, Bo. Wow. Let's see, where's the our wow, scale man. still up here? Uh, I think I put them in here. Let's see what we got, y'all. Yeah, thank you for coming with me, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> I would have, I would have, uh... Go in the net. Yeah, I would have had a time, time getting him in by myself. All right, I got nothing. Oh, dang, you ain't got to be kidding me. What? I ain't a PB. Yeah. ain't a PB. Yeah, no, my PB is 51. It's coming up 50. Uh. Alright, uh, give, reach in there and give me them other scales. Yeah, I ain't sure about that. <laughs> yeah, they're beside you, Matt. Right here, look here. We'll do some measurements on them too. I got my, uh... Dang, bro, I thought we should have four six. He's 50. Oh, he's 50. Well, yeah, it's hard to believe, man. Eh? scales are like little. <laughs> Dang, he's so. There ain't no way, dude. There ain't no way. Oh, he's supposed to be bigger than that. I guess the head's fooling me, man. Yeah. Thought for sure we were gonna get a PB here, but I think he sure could lie and say this was a bigger fish. He's skinny though, that's what's killing him. One more time. It's 50. Get that. Alright y'all, 50 pounds and a PB. But uh sure didn't think he was a PB. We're gonna let him go.
Thank you, brother. Thank you. Your fish is next, bro. tight squeeze in here so it's kind of the game you gotta kind of just you're not gonna find a whole lot of fish you gotta find at least one fish worth anchoring on and we got a it's pretty good there's a female about 30 pound 40 pound flathead over here hoping i didn't spook her off kind of messed up and when i went to re-anchor i had went too far back to start my anchor so i had to come back up come up and come above her we got a live bait we got four other rods over there with cut the cut jumbos we're gonna give her a shot. We're not gonna stay here too much longer. Um, we done fished over 24 hours. Um, it's like an hour and a half ride back. It's 1040. It's getting hot. It's November and it's uh, it's in the 80s today. So hopefully I can get mad on fish. That's that's the uh, what we're trying to do here. And then um, call it a wrap. And we're gonna be coming back here pretty soon, y'all. Ah, right, y'all. We're gonna try something, man. We uh. Patriot James make these bobbers. They're really cool. Um, I have a bunch of them. I more or less use them in the summertime to let a, a live bait kind of float around. But I was thinking about it. It's a perfect situation. We got, you know, the river's flowing pretty hard. So we got this, this rod ain't out. So we got this rod in front of this log jam, but it didn't really stay, but it's close. This one beside it. Then you got these three here. Well, we got this gap here, way on back there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on. I'm probably going to take float off wish I had one without a float but I don't I'm gonna we'll float this back there with a live bait and see if we can get this to work I know it works I know a lot of guys that do it I haven't been quite in a situation where I could do this but we're gonna give it a shot and see if it works all right y'all so we got this bring about this size you got there's several different ways you can hook them with this I like doing right here and I kind of do a, a B back like that make sure there's no scales in the hook now this is honestly, this will be the first time I've done this, like this. I could have had a better setup, but uh, we're just gonna work with what we got. I'm gonna put this right here. And these things light up too. If y'all know about this, it's uh, Patriot James. Ah, I can't quite remember his name. Hold on, it's on the side of the boat. Patriot's Custom Float. Let's check it out, let's see. And I got a little rattle on there. We'll see how that works. We're just gonna float this thing on back there. Hoping to make this work without getting painted up. And I'm wanting to get in that gap back there. Past these. It's almost working. It's almost working. What happens is I might have to uh pick this one up. Now we'll come on this side, yeah. There it goes. All right, that's gonna work. It's not gonna go exactly where I wanted it, but it's gonna float back there pretty dang good. Oh, this mat. We're gonna uh, adjust these. Now this line doesn't have a, this one ain't got a lot of line on it. So, I'm not quite going where I wanted it to. And I don't think it's gonna stay. We'll see what happens. Oh, he's doing something funky down there. <laughs> you see that? Uh oh, something popped up beside him. Get a live takedown. That'd be awesome.
go. We'll see if it works. All right, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna call it a wrap. We uh, like I said, we done fished over 24 hours straight. We you know we had a little break where we drove home, took a shower, and uh, drove down here. But uh, caught a very good fish. I thought that was gonna be my PB. It's definitely my PB out of this river. Um, that was a blessing for God. It really uh, and even here at the end, me uh. Parking that flathead and Matt's never really seen the side imaging kind of work and he clearly seen it, you know, it's pretty exciting. So we gotta come back down here and spend some time. But I I'll be better prepared next time. Um it was an awesome trip. It really was. I mean I can't uh, I couldn't ask for a better day of fishing. I needed that. I, you know, all year long. I've caught a lot of thirties. I haven't caught a forty all year long. I just skipped the forties and went and got a fifty. And it humbles me, you know, I I was saying earlier, I kind of got excited and wasn't able to say everything I wanted to say, but uh, on my PBs, I caught a 47 blue, and then I got to a 48, and then I got to another 48, a couple ounces higher, and then finally, and then I got another 48, and then I got uh, jumped up to 51, so I appreciate it more. If I'd, have, if I'd have come in and caught an 80, you know, off the gate, you know, then I wouldn't appreciate it like I do, so it's all good. Um... Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll, uh, more out. So, I'm just rambling on. Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see y'all on the next one. You got something to say, good one? I'm too tired to talk. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. All right, we'll see y'all on the next one.